to no. I mean, I'm gonna. I'm. Gonna, we're. Okay. Can't make a mission when you haven't started. Yeah, you're right. Okay, calling to order the Farm and Day Planning Subcommittee meeting agenda Tuesday, May 30th at 11:03 3 a.m. First up, agenda items. Uh, we have a quorum. Do we have a quorum? We do have a quorum. You do have a quorum. Yeah. We're just missing Deb. Mm hmm A lot of people. Uh, adoption of the agenda. Any changes? Nope. I need a motion to approve the agenda as presented. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, next up, adoption of the previous minutes. Any changes? Mm -hmm. No. So I need a motion to adopt the previous minutes. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Next up, items of discussion. Final pre-event briefing. So, um, <laughs> we're going to give Jill a couple minutes per location just to kind of give an update. Okay. And then we're going to dive into uh, the scheduling and uh, incident action plan and Fun stuff. Oh man, incident action plan that is exciting. I'm excited about that. I'm okay. excited for the so, first of all, I'm sorry, let me introduce Julie. Sorry, she's Hi, our photographer. Hi. If y'all hadn't met her, she's here to just kind of see where she needs to be placed and kind of what's going on so she can get her done. Yeah, there's, there's just me, but I'm going to be as many places as I can. I'm going to find out how long you need me. I was going to say, I don't think we're going to need you really split up, so I think that's good. Maybe mm -hmm. Firethorn, like right after Briefly. the 5K, and yeah. then. Yeah, we'll, but we'll go, we'll over, go that. over that. Yep. Mm -hmm. All Perfect. right. Thank you. So I'm going to start with um, Marvin Elementary School, and we'll just go through each of the things there. So 5K, as of this morning, we have 90 people signed up as runners. We have 12 people signed up to do the fun run. So that's not bad. The numbers increase every day. However, just note for next year, we may want to rethink canning the fun run component because it just doesn't seem to be... A draw. I think last year we had 30 sign up. This year we're struggling to even hit 15. Okay. I don't know why, but whatever. Maybe it's because we're charging money for it, but we're only charging 15 bucks. I mean, and they get a cute little T-shirt and a medal, so you would think. Mm -hmm. oh, we'll get some medal. We'll go over bucks. that in a debrief. Just yeah. you can keep on going. Just note to sell. Um, all T-shirts have been ordered or in production. Um, we are. I'm currently working with the 5K vendor, just checking in with them, finalizing packet pickup and setup of the race course. But everything looks good there. Um, blood drive is confirmed. They don't have any signups yet, but we're just continuing to promote it. That's all we can do. Health fair. We have 15 vendors confirmed. They've all been checked in with. Deb is going to be sending them emails this week just to make sure they're all good. Coffee food truck has been confirmed. DJ's been confirmed. Fire truck confirmed. Porta John's confirmed. Shuttle bus is confirmed. Everything is confirmed for Marvin Elementary School area. Any questions? Well, that's good. Beautiful. Um, okay, moving on to Marvin Eford AM. Face painters, tattoos, balloon animals, hair tinsel, all been confirmed. Minnie and Mickey, Spider Man and Elsa confirmed. Bounce House is confirmed. Food trucks confirmed. Puppies confirmed. Um, <laughs> I did add a last minute um, toy vendor because she asked if she could come and she sells like really fun kind of light up toys that you see at festivals at night oh, yeah. where the kids have all the lights and the oh, glow in the dark and stuff. So I just thought... <laughs> kids love it, parents hate kids it. Kids love it, parents hate it, yes. But I also thought since everything is pretty much free that day, then it lends, I mean, she's well aware, like you're basically the only thing that people are going to have to pay for other than food and wine and beer because everyone, everything else is free. And she was like, that's fine. So anyway, she's going to come cool. and sure. if she sells anything, she it's sells, if she doesn't, she doesn't. I don't care, but she's coming. Um, then I don't care. I don't care. Um, let's see. Jen is confirming with the animal exhibit folks just to make sure they're all good. I'm confirming with the disc golf folks today. But other than that, the major stuff, the stage, I've checked in with them. Everything's been paid for. Bands checked in. Everything's paid for. Christina's checking in with the fireworks just to make sure they're good. I did check, check in with and confirmed the OMB beer truck and the Kepi wine truck. They're good. Um, so really, I feel really good about the park. Um, Porta John's again confirmed with them. They're good. Shuttle bus is good. Dunk tank. Dunk tank good. Yep. Um, our guys are going to pick it up the Friday, Friday before, I think. And they're going to haul it. it. Saves us a lot of money. They're going to fill it on Saturday morning. I would so. like warm water. <laughs> is, there any, is there any option of warm water? No. But since they're for a while, it'll be you, warm. Later in the day, you're going to want that cold. Um, I don't know. So 
Any questions about Marvin Park? I mean, I feel really good about it. Arborist confirmed? No. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Um, it was just the one that I didn't hear besides the animals, which Jen's taken care of. Yeah. Um, I didn't put him on my list, but I'm pretty sure he's confirmed. Yeah, Keith, I'm pretty sure so he's been. I was waiting to ask Hunter because I thought Hunter confirmed with him already a couple different times that I'm not harassed the guy. I'm fairly certain he's coming. And then I'm going to check in with Christina Culp because yep. she was the one that couldn't get the people until like the day of. The day of, yeah. yeah. So like that's it's fine. pretty much the day of now. <laughs> yeah, day of. Yeah, yeah. So I just need to check with her. Like she was going to bring signs and have poster boards and stuff. So I'm just going to touch base with her today as well. Um, that's a great question. As far as like overarching stuff, Again, shuttle buses have all been paid for and confirmed. Signs for the event. Um, the first order was submitted this morning for all of the snipes. The second order is going to be submitted after lunch for the custom snipes that have logos and stuff. Um, and then the banners will be submitted this afternoon too. Union County um, Health Department event permit. They have it been processed. Our application has been processed. She touched base with me this morning and was like, I got you. We're good. Great. Um, Mary's going to work on ordering all the food and supplies for the volunteers. So we'll have Jersey Mike's for lunch. We'll have pizza at night. Mary's also processing all of the um, supplies and stuff that's going to go in the totes for the um, info tables. And Jill is processing final payments to all of the vendors. Um, and Christina is confirming and processing with all of our off-duty, just to make sure all the off-duty is good, off-duty officers. Um, other than that, I just wanted to touch base on two things really quick. One is comp time. So we do have um, sort of a thing in our personnel policy that when there's a holiday that falls during a week, um, that it's essentially the eight hours that we did not work but were paid for yesterday has to come off whatever we work this weekend before we can start earning comp time. So normally we would start earning comp time for every hour we exceed 40 in a single week. Because of the holiday, it's going to be everything over 48 that we will start to accrue comp time because we didn't really work Monday and we got paid for working. So we would have to work eight hours this weekend that is to make up for that before we start earning comp time. Does that make sense to everybody? So it's better than earning no comp time at all, which is what we originally thought. If anyone has a problem with that or whatever, we could always you know, go to council and ask if there could be like a one-time thing where staff is awarded certain hours to make up for it. But just know you will earn comp time, but only for what you work in excess of 48 for this week, not 40, okay? Um, and then the other thing I wanted to touch base on is the walkie-talkies. So we do have walkies for this year, like last year. Um, what we're planning to do, because they can die quickly and they kind of need to be charged on a rotating schedule, is the people who are at the 5K, they're going to be assigned walkies. When you leave the 5K, you're going to turn them into me. And when you get to the park or wherever you're headed next, you will get assigned a new walkie. And what will happen is the ones that we use for the 5K are going to go on the charger. They're going to get charged up. When we're at the park and everybody's walkies start dying, you will turn in your dead walkie, we'll check it in, you will get a brand new one that should be fully charged because it's been sitting in there since I showed up at the park at 11. Does that make sense? Um, so just keep track of them um, and know that you will have to turn them in multiple times throughout the day and get a new one assigned to you if you need one. I have an earpiece. Do we have Yeah, we've, we've got earpieces. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think we did for the band, uh, for the concert, but I think that was You good on yours? Um, Christina's like, no jokes today. <laughs> I just no want to add no fun, one boo. thing. Christina, uh, I forgot to ask you, and I forgot to put it on here, but if you would please follow up with Councilman Line on the RV and all of that good stuff that he just says he's got it covered. <laughs> I've actually signed that Allison, which we'll talk about in just a second. Okay, I'll, I'll do it too. I'll do it too. <laughs> Any good? questions or anything that I that you did not hear me mention about the park? Anything that someone's like you didn't talk about bounce houses? Did I talk about bounce houses? Did yeah, that's confirmed. confirmed. Okay, perfect. Anything oh, I didn't say? Uh, volunteers. Yeah, that's yeah. what Christina's up to. Okay. Um, one thing is that would be good for you to know. So we have Minnie and Mickey are coming, and I can get you the times for this. They're going to come for like ninety minutes. It's going to have to be in the barn because those costumes are super hot. So they're going to be in the barn, um, and I imagine it's going to be a big photo op 
thing. People are going to want, their kids are going to want pictures taken with Minnie and Mickey. So I don't have any one, like, assigned to take photos. I just figure, like, parents can take their own kids' photos, you know. Um, we will also have Elsa and Spider-Man kind of wandering around the park 90 minutes after Mickey and Minnie disperse. So they're less of a photo op unless they're being bombarded and then the lady has said if they're being bombarded and they can't even walk because everybody's surrounding them then we probably will move them into the barn and make it a little bit more formal and have people start forming a line so they're not being like tackled but my goal would be for them to just kind of walk around high-fiving kids and taking fun photos with people using their own cell phones but just right. be aware that that could be some cool photos for yeah, you to be on the lookout for Thank you. yeah mm -hmm. That's all I got, unless anybody has questions. Do we have like line, like area set up for the I'm trying to look at this, like the, t the hair tinsel and the face paint and all that stuff? No, the face paint and tattoo people said they were going to have their own person there to help with crowd control and lines. So I'm just letting the vendors kind of d deal with that. Where um, where are you putting them? That I'm, I'm still working on that. Okay. In my brain. I think what I would like to do because of the crowds is put them on the same grassy field as the bounce houses. Instead of putting them right in front of the barn in the playground. Remember how we kind of talked about maybe that being a spot? I feel like it's going to be complete chaos there. Where is the bounce house? Oh, the inflatable, the yard games. Got mm -hmm. it. Okay. Yeah. We had talked about putting some vendors in there, but instead I think I'm going to put the face paint. It will get the kids oh, like over there, go over there. And then I can put vendors where we had thought possibly of putting the face paint people, but I'm working on that today. I'm working on a schematic for inside the barn and also for uh, the vendors today because we're going to be putting there's a little thing in the ground with their name of where they're going to set up. Okay, beer and wine are going to be by the barn, and food trucks are going to be down by the other parking lot. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. And the beer and wine folks, OMB's taking up the left half of the horseshoe, Keffy's taking up the right, and they'll be the only people in that horseshoe. So it'll be saved for them kind of all day. What time are they showing up? Um, OMB's probably going to roll in around 3, unless they come early to set up by 3, and then Keffy is going to roll in around 1 because... She doesn't have like a fancy mobile unit, so she's got to do old school pop-up tent tables and all that stuff. So she's coming at one. Okay, cool. Yeah. Food trucks will be there by 11. Food except, trucks will probably be there earlier starting at 9 so they can get all set up and ready. Except for the one that's coming later because we mm -hmm. have one that's coming late. Okay. Um, one, yeah. So Mr. Greek is leaving at, after lunch and Cousin Maine is arriving to take their place for lunch, uh, for dinner. Got it. Okay. So Cousin Maine Lobster. Oh, so the puppies at the picnic table is going to be right by the dunk tank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you good? I'm good. Okay, so I'm going to take over from here. If everybody can pull out this sheet. Do you have me one of those? Oh, it's updated. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. So there's a couple things I'm going to note on here. Um, first and foremost, volunteers. So like Jill said, there's going to be a info slash volunteer booth. And it is going to be located, look at the map, uh, outside right the outside barn. the barn doors, the double doors, I believe. Can I get one? What color is it? Black and blue. Oh, okay. oh. The blue rectangle, a black, black rectangle, rectangle with a blue border. Does it have that? Am I saying it? Am I, not, am I just not seeing it? Or right it, here. What are you asking? Is it not in the legend? Which right, one are you yeah. asking right for? Right above the playable yard games. Ah. You see it right here? Yard games. Information that's, page. Oh, that's blue. blue. That's blue. Okay, I can barely see. God, I can't see that. Okay. The one's on mine. <laughs> okay. I can, so I, can, I can only see it on the right-hand side on the corner. Yeah, I see it. Okay. I can try make to, those larger. We'll try to fix that up. It's at the barn. So that's, that's where the info table is going to be. It's going to be fully staffed all day. And basically, when you guys get to your location, you're going to find that info table. And you're going to get your walkie-talkie and you're going to get your assignment. So you'll have a, a packet of stuff waiting for you if you haven't already picked it up the day before. Um, more than likely, everyone sitting here today will have the packets delivered to them or you will pick them up uh, that Friday because it's going to have your visitor parking pass. But otherwise, you're going to be riding the shuttle. Yeah. So, um, Deb's here. Hey, Deb. <gasps> Deb. Hey, so you'll have that Deb. before. Yep, you're, you're presiding. 
firework guys call me. Well, you can get, get that. I'm just, I'll call them back. No, you should get that. That looks um, delicious. Or his son is I just talked to him Friday. He's good. Um, so you'll come sign in there. You'll get your assignment, and you'll get your new walkie-talkie. You'll get a head uh, headset. I'm going to try to have headsets for everyone. I don't need a headset. I'm kidding. Headsets for everyone? Well, yeah, I'm going to try to. Well, with the concert going on, you guys aren't going to be able to hear. So oh, you're going to you're going to need them. Um, so hopefully your assignment hasn't changed but by the time you get your packets to the to the time of the event but that's where you're going to report to to get everything you need and any, anything that may have changed throughout the period of you getting your packet to that day are there any questions on that go to the information table when you get to the park yeah got it so if you have anybody with you like your family members just make sure they go there with you as well um this sheet that you see here mm -hmm. There's a couple of these. Um, Popular lady. So the first sheet that you see here is, um, you guys won't see this the day of. I just wanted you to see this because I want to work through this document a little bit. This is basically everything that we're doing before the event happens. So everything you see on this first page is pre-event stuff. Nothing applies to you all. It's mostly all staff members. Um, but you won't see this any more than today. Flip over to the second page. This is the Friday event. Again, this is really just staff and uh, council members. These are the things that they're responsible for doing that Friday, and it's mostly just going ahead and pre-setting things up that we can set up. Um, and then we have the meet and greet that happens on Friday. So if you see your name, if you want to take a couple seconds to look at that and make sure you are okay with everything there, you understand it. Um for the water coolers am i supposed to fill those up friday morning mm -hmm. i mean saturday morning no i'm gonna have tyler the new guy he's gonna fill them up with ice that that day and you'll pick them up so they're just gonna night. be full of ice he's gonna put water in them too but he's gonna wait until later in the day okay so they'll, it, the ice will probably have melted by then but and you'll have help getting them in your truck and, 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 and out. out and out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're not going to expect it. To oh yeah, no. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Jill said that runners typically don't like cold water anyway, so okay. if it melts, I don't want it, it super melts. cold. Okay. So the ice will have melted overnight, but it'll it should still be pretty. Okay. Decent. Okay. okay. And then um, so if you want to sub assign the fire thorns to her, I'm fine with that. Okay, Jen. Yeah. Seven you in for the fire thorn sign. Of course. Thank so you. as soon as the signs, when, when will the signs be ready? They should be ready tomorrow. Tomorrow. The snipe signs. Okay. I don't, you only have ones that say fire, I'm um, fire, hello. Um, art Expo, main art, ballroom. Or it says like Art it. Expo inside. Okay. Fine. And then I've got some directional arrows for you guys if you need them. Yes. Yes, we do. And we know how many we need of which directions. Mm -hmm. We do. We just need to make sure that they're there and like separate them out. Yeah. So um, we should have some directional arrows from last year. Did you, were you all able to find those? I we haven't really looked at them. Okay. We'll do that after we leave. Hmm. After we're done here, have you and seen? You, I will look there and take that them anywhere. Yeah, I'll take them. Arrows? I'll make. Like, I might separate the them out today red arrows and not take them today, and then come and pick them all up. Okay, that's fine. Together. Okay. Because so I Jen actually don't have a car right now. The list um, of arrows <laughs> seemed pretty excessive. Do we need as many as we as was was on the list? There was only like, I mean, there was 10, but it was okay. different because we were trying to go in the front door and then because there's going to be people downstairs outside, mm -hmm. we wanted to get them up the back stairs Okay. too. But no, so the, I had on the it's list, not it was absolutely 12, critical. it was 12 like vertical arrows, 12 horizontal arrows, and then I had a, a, a nice chuckle because it said two right and one left, which is the same as the vertical arrow because no. you can turn it either way. <laughs> Did I put that on the list? I'm not sure, but that's that seems I, I that does seem it. excessive. That's, that's I not right. It to six that's not vertical, right. six horizontal, and that should be plenty to get you all where you need to go. And then right? we needed a couple that were straight up in the air. Yeah, yeah. So you have some six of them that are just a vertical arrow. Are they two sided? Yes. Okay. And so that's have, why you have right or left. One that is um, okay. just. Um, it doesn't matter because they'll go either way. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if they were both sides. So if it's cool with you, I'll keep it on your duties, but you just yeah, have to communicate with her to get it. We'll so. do it after this, Jim. I only have seven arrows. 
Okay. On my list. I got you three. Was. Okay, because mm -hmm. three of them okay. I don't think we're, we didn't absolutely need, but if we have them, I can put them. Okay. All right, good. So a couple of them we decided people were capable <coughs> of figuring out, like the ones right outside the doors. Yeah, we were hoping okay. so at least. So, yeah. So um, does anybody else have any questions about their name on the second sheet? Nope. So Matthew, just make sure all of your staff are aware of their duties and what their expectations are on that Friday. Um, oh, it's his, it was his birthday yesterday, so that's his <laughs> All right, any other comments on Friday? Did you get call cookies? What? No, um, he got something I mean, better. This is, this is kind of like, just a side note, whoever has that quote for the cost of the pickup light trailers, if it wasn't already given to me, if I could have that ASAP, that'd be great, the cost uh, of that. Yeah, he's said he's going to bill us. I just need to know how much so I can pre-audit yeah, yeah. it. You can just send her that email that you sent me to, mm -hmm. about the amount, mm -hmm. if you don't mind. Um, all right, move over to Saturday. So this is really where the next, you guys won't see any of these other sheets that we just looked at ever again, unless you're staff members um, or cancel. The next sheet that you'll see, this is going to be kind of your main Bible for the day. Like this is what we're living by. Um, and I just want to take some time to look it over and make sure everyone's comfortable with it. Make sure that we're kind of working through logistics because I can't tell you that I didn't foresee every single little thing that may have taken place. We did look through it and make sure there's some overlap on important duties. Um, but I would like to spend a little bit of time on this just to kind of work through the document itself. Um, so this is going to be painful, but if y'all can just bear with me. So in the morning at Marvin Elementary School, Jill is reporting there so at, at 6.30 as well as Deb. So is Noah. <laughs> <laughs> Noah. I didn't put him on the list because he has other duties he has to do that day. So. Okay. Duty. Duties. If you can, um, if you just look through Marvin Eford's school, like, do y'all understand how this flows? Mm hmm. Okay. So you can I don't know why you're listening to me. I helped you do it. So <laughs> don't listen to me. Ask other people. They <laughs> you can find it. your name. So ES is elementary school, just so you all are aware of where you see ES, that's elementary school. Mm -hmm. So really, there's no staff members at the elementary school except for Jill and Deb. So it's it's kind of you guys. You'll go at it. Um, Have Mary write them a receipt. Marvin Eford Park. Then we mobilize over to Marvin Eford Park, where we've got Austin, who's one of the first to come in and start setting up. We also have Mary, Matthew, David reporting there to also set up. Now, Matthew and um, Silvio, y'all do have some other tasks that will require you to leave the premises for just a second, primarily to set up a tent at Marvin Ridge School. Mm -hmm. uh, one of y'all, I can't remember which one, but one of y'all's doing that. Um, aside from that, everything should be staked off and labeled that Friday, so it should be pretty self-explanatory when the vendors start coming in on Friday, um, where they're supposed to be going. And then everyone has their individual assignments if you look through the list and, and kind of see where we're going. The biggest things I want to point out, um, council members come in at a staggered time and it's all kind of primarily around their dump take schedules. Uh, I did try to leave some vacancies and times for taking breaks. Um, there's a section in all the volunteers, which is really primarily the darker sheets that we've labeled, kind of generically labeled, parking, directional, what do we call it, let's see. Shuttle crowd control, yeah. Yeah, parking, directional, shuttle crowd control assignment. And basically, that's all done in the PM hours, and what this is, what this primarily is, is kind of a floater in, in to those four categories. Marcus Williams, he's a, one of our planning board members, he's gonna be charged with kind of leading that group. So he's going to be walking the grounds and saying, you know, do we need directional assistance more so than crowd control? Do we need shuttle assistance more, more so than crowd control? So he's going to be mobilizing those people as they come in and go as, as needed. So Jill's going to be the lead person for that night. She can communicate through Marcus where the needs are. Um, but let's just try to make sure we're following proper chain of command. So anything that you guys see that's needed that day, communicate that to Jill. Um, your report is on that far column, it says report to. So that's who your report you're gonna follow. 
Um, and this is really just to kind of keep mixed communications down so that we can control the event when, when things happen and when we need resources allocated. Does anybody have any questions about that in general? Um, so, staff, you can look at your assignments. You guys have seen this several times already. Um, Mike, I did give Mike an assignment. My Mike? Yes. Picking up the sandwich order. It'll be paid for. I'll just let me grab it. Where is it coming from? Jersey Mike's. Okay, that's fine. Um, does anybody have any questions? Mm -mm. Is anybody overwhelmed? Oops. <laughs> I you got you, Jill. <laughs> no, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I got you, Jill. Okay, I'm going to Myrtle Beach for like five days after this is over. <laughs> All right, is everybody good on this? Hold well, on, Jill. At 1030, you want Mike to get the sandwiches and bring it to the park? Yes, ma'am. Do we have... Show and if that changes, signs. Kim, if that changes, we have to confirm with Jersey Mike they can have them ready at 1030. So if they say the earliest we can have them is 11, then we'll let you know. All right, just let me know. We're asking for 1030, but they may not be ready by then. That's fine, because I'm going to, I will be with Mike, so we'll go get them. Okay. So just let me know what time, well, you might if that changes. The... Nope, don't. I, nope, my, I'm, I'm open from 10 to 1130. Okay. So, so I will, we will have the sandwiches there. Okay. Do y'all have Mike. any questions? At all? Who has said that he's going to dunk me as many times as he wants to? Mike said that. Yep. <laughs> Matthew, you just need to make sure your staff's communicated <laughs> this in full detail so they understand. Um, and some things may be a little bit different, like on um, me, Jill. The ink. Yep. Probably. Right. Just pen. Right. Right so back. there is a switch over in, okay. if you guys are right. at the park during kind of morning hours and afternoon hours. There is a switch in chain of command from Austin to Jill at some point, and it's going to happen around the 3 o'clock period. So um, we'll make a note on the radio once that happens so y'all know who, who's kind of taken over from there. But you, you're going to have a direct report. If you're in a, in a mid-shift, you're going to have a direct two different direct reports that day. So, for example, Matthew, you're there. No, you're not going to have one. Um, actually, y'all are pretty clean cut. Some of you may have an overlap in that. You have a question? There's my hair. I think that's an error. Or her. Here. She's only until three. Who's that? Mary. She's Mary. until three, but then you have her two direct reports there. It's minor. Oh, because it's the, the three o'clock. Mm. She switches at three. Okay. Any questions at all? Okay. And no then questions, the, but I just want to comment that. Um, if something is happening at the park, it might, and let's say it's a facilities thing, okay, it might seem faster and easier to just grab the walkie and say, hey, Matt or Silvio, I need this, okay? But message me, even though I'm probably going to turn right around and say, Matt, can we switch to a different channel? Or I'm going to call Matt and say, this is what I need. But it's just because I may have already told Matt and Silvio to put out fire over here. So if you go directly to them, you just don't know what they're already kind of maybe doing. And so that's why it's important to just follow the chains of command. Yeah, that's a really good point. And making sh making sure we also communicate this in the volunteer booth, like mm -hmm. that needs to be one of the, we need to make a, like a bullet point. Mm -hmm. So because everyone sitting here today is not going to remember to mm -hmm. tell their people that. So yeah. we just make sure that that's communicated. The other thing I want to say is things will go wrong, but 90% of the time are the people in attendance will have no clue yep. what we know. We know this is not the way this was supposed to go, but they're not going to know it. They're just having fun. So we just cannot panic. We just cannot flip out. We just relax. We'll fix it. We'll solve it. Every problem that arises, we will We will fix it. We just need to stay calm. And like tonight. the food in National Night Out. Yes. Cry on the inside, not the outside. <laughs> Cry on the inside, not on the outside. Yeah. I'll mention to you, like, scramble. <laughs> Especially on Saturday, like I can get there at nine and I can like be afloat and help with whatever until because since this costs my only like event, like I'm gonna be there all day. So if anybody needs assistance, well, and I do want to, I do want to just mention. Thank you for saying that. I do want to mention that's totally fine. Like if you guys volunteer your time to outside of um, what you're scheduled, but I do want to give people the opportunity to, to have a beer or a glass of wine if they want to. So if you guys want to stay on and 
and work, that's fine. But if you want to enjoy the event, yeah, then then that's totally my expectation to allow you to do that. So I want to make sure that that's clear. Like if y'all want to stay, great. But um, I'll bring you. We can't drink on the job. So. So everybody but me can enjoy. <laughs> Hopefully there'll still be some in the afternoon when I can. You can catch up on that when you go to the beach. That's true. So when we um, when we adjourn this meeting, if y'all can really just take a couple minutes to go through that Saturday and try to find a hole that I that I missed somehow, um, try to poke a hole in my plan because I feel like it's pretty solid. But I, you know, again, there's a lot of moving parts to this. I'd like. Someone to really go through it tooth and nail. Are we wearing anything to indicate that mm -hmm. we're a volunteer? Or yes. Yeah, we'll have we'll have a custom T-shirt. Okay. So when Mary, and where do we pick those up? So Mary, Mary, hopefully arriving six one, but I'm mm -hmm. hoping earlier. Okay. Mary's gonna put that stuff together. Um, it's on one of her Friday events to schedule a pickup time, and so inside the packet that you get, you'll have your your packets here, and you'll also have your parking pass. It should be again, like she said, that Friday, okay. hopefully before. But if not, okay. So the parking passes. Now, a lot of this doesn't really apply to me because I'm going to be a Firethorn from like seven in the morning until four. Um, but I thought everybody was parking here and going there. Did we change that such that there's a parking pass to park on site? So, so we are going to have staff parking on site. I okay. would prefer that staff try to ride together as much as possible. I don't sure. want like every single one of us getting there. Yeah and parking i mean within we'll try to do it within reason i mean our staff will try to work that out amongst ourselves um i know the board members are trying to work that out amongst themselves as well so i, I don't really have a solid plan for that i don't have an answer for that but i'll give you all parking passes so you have it but i would prefer that we try to so the point of that parking i guess i just want to confirm that the point of that parking pass is to park on site yeah. mm -hmm. so yeah. we should use that with discretion yes. but that is what it's intended for yes okay Good summary. Okay, cool. Yeah. Any questions? My plan was to park here at Village Hall and just Carpool walk over. and say someone come grab. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or by then the shuttle bus will already be running at Marvin Elementary. I might just hop on it yeah. and take a we, ride over. And well, because we after Firethorn and I go home and regroup a little bit, um, I'm probably going to grab my kids and come on over to the park, whatever. But at that point, we're more or less just attendees. So we'll yeah, and us we'll staff just can, can try to work that out. And I, she had a good question about trying to carpool as much as possible. I said you guys as a board are trying to do it as much as possible. But also, y'all's shifts are it ain't gonna different. Happen now. It was going to. It's not going to. People now. with light shifts can easily carpool. So. Yeah. I mean, we're all coming in at different times for council. Yeah. So, and leaving and... All right, so Jen, you can look through the schedule because I'm sure you'll find something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've already been through it once. It looked pretty good. Okay. Well, let me know good. if you do because I plan to, to finalize this tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So after tomorrow, I'm hopefully taking any more changes unless okay. it's crazy. I'll, I'll double check. Too. Okay. This next form that is being passed around, this is incident action plan. This is really not for you guys. I mean, you don't have to know a whole lot about it other than the fact that if there's an incident that happens this is where you're going to go to this is going to be inside your packets that you get for the day so bring it with you we'll have copies on um, one hand as well this is not finalized um, still working with law enforcement to get it finalized but this kind of gives them the objectives of what's going on um, at the event and uh, what we're planning to do the biggest thing i want y'all to see is this new section that i put in here implement weather policy that we, didn't, we didn't have that last year which we really needed um, mm -hmm. so in the event of a rain or light storm event there's really no backup plan we're going to mobilize people to the barn as best as, as possible um, and continue to, to operate shuttles to take people where you know back to their cars as quickly as possible but there's really no true area that we have for a rain or light storm event if it's an emergency event, tornado, damaging winds, then I have secured the fire department across the street. Um, so what would take place in the event that that happens is that all staff would direct everyone away from the equipment, like the stage, all that stuff, get them inside the barn. We'll start moving the shuttles to the fire station and back as quickly as possible, taking people to and from. Um, Hunter, you'll just make sure you have the shuttles on standby because if, if that happens, you'll have to be the one to communicate that. 
at that point in time we will not be shuttling people back to their cars because the, the, the objective is to just move people as quickly as possible to a safe and secure location and that would be the the fire department across the street just trying to get as many people as we can in the areas where they're covered where they can mobilize speaking of that what i'm going to do so, which if it's okay with you so on saturday i'm probably going to get here at nine and i'm going to have the shuttles report to the park okay so i can meet with them okay. and give them site maps make sure there's any questions establish that and then then let them go maybe you can get on and ride the route with them so they know yeah quickest most correct i mean so i can either be nine to nine or nine to seven however you want to do it okay I mean, we'll talk i'll be around myself. all the yeah does anybody have any questions about the implement weather policy or plan we have nothing um, other than to say i checked the weather but i just did too it looks great not it looks wood. amazing <laughs> so in the event that there is damaging winds tornadoes or something like that i'm not worried about occupancy load in the barn just put as many people as you can in there mm -hmm. stuff them in the bathrooms mm -hmm. um <laughs> filling up you know filling up as much cars. space as we can cars. cars yep like the phone booth game just how many residents can we get in the barn <laughs> um and then get out we'll of the dark tank if <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, don't hunker down in the duct tank. <laughs> and then we Water. will basically have to cancel the event unless there's further direction or assessment made at that point. Terrible. Terrible. So, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> we didn't have this last year and we needed it, so um, it's coming down. It was terrible. I was, I was here. It was I almost great. Died. <laughs> Any questions died. on that at all? Nope. Matthew, just make sure you communicate all this to your staff as well. Don't get under the stage. Um, there's two. Did we talk about volunteers? And I missed it. Um, no, I'm okay. oh, sorry. I, I need to get back to that. Okay. I'm just my coffee. I'm gonna stand here. Why well, I get paid the big bucks? So there's two um, organizational assignment lists. One's for the park. One's for um, the school. You'll have all the contact information there for anyone that is needed from from a law enforcement standpoint and then mm -hmm. the next page is the uh, assignment list for leos and kind of what their duties are from uh, marvin eford school and marvin eford park it kind of shows you where the officers will be mobilized really it's not you don't need to know much of this just so you know that it's there tell me for them no, he's not. These are not, um, he's, he's out of town. These are not updated. I have to, okay. Elio is updating right now. Okay. Cause I was going to say Ed said he was going to be there. And then the last sheet is the Ed is medical. The, the last one's the medical form. So if there's anyone that needs any type of medical activity at the event, someone falls and breaks their arm, you can quickly pull this out and tell them where the closest hospital is. Um, we still have the ambulance on site, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do, we do have the ambulance on site. Any questions on that? Yeah, I do have questions. Okay. So, some, somebody falls and breaks their leg. We direct them to the ambulance first aid that is yes. on site. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then they will then say, oh, let's look at our thing. Like, I don't need to be telling people where they need to be going. I'm yeah. directing them to... For a non-emergency, you might be you might be able to let... If they're not familiar, you might be able to tell them that some of the closest hospitals and where they are. But I mean, if somebody's like... fallen and broken a leg, I'm going to probably take them to the ambulance. It's For sure. On site. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do they radio? Probably not going to take them. We probably the got to use a walking uh, command to the person, and... to the site point of contact. Well, that was that, or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, we can do... We'll do that. We'll so then it'll be Make Austin, sure. somebody fell and has a bone sticking out of their leg. Mm -hmm. And then Austin will then handle it mm -hmm. after he vomits because I feel like you're not going to do well with that. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you know me so well. You could mm -hmm. potentially have the one offs where a kid, you know, thinks that they have a spider bite, but they're not really sure. So you, you pull this out and say, well, if you want to go to the hospital, you can go here. Okay. But we do have first aid kits too in the kit in the toes this year, right? Because we did last yes. year. Yeah. Okay. Well, Somebody needs a band aid. Yeah. We can handle that. And that'll all scrape, be Scraped knees and, you know, we small can. contusions. There's a first aid kit kind of well, And that'll be at the volunteer station. That's at the volunteer yeah. station. Okay. Yeah. So next question. If we feel like maybe someone has is out of control, whatever, I'm saying, Jill, there's a person over here that does not seem to be in control of themselves. Drunk and Or am I <laughs> talking to an officer as I am walking past and seeing this? I mean, if there's an officer close to you and someone's inebriated and you want to be like, dude, deal with this, and then walking me and say, Jill, 
I just bumped into Tommy, I asked him to deal with this, there's a woman that's drunk or whatever, then it's fine. But if, if there's no officer near you and you need assistance, then just message me, hey, I need you to send an officer down here. There's some people out of control yeah. and, and I'll send them. Perfect. But okay. I don't want to like create a middleman bottleneck. If, the, if yeah. the deputy's standing five feet from you, just be like, can you please help with this? And then just let me know what's going on. Got you it. Know? Okay. Quick question. Does the EMS, they have any type of golf cart trench? Uh, I can ask. Just I because of where, where we, we have, I know, because where we have them, they're a little far. Burned, right? That's my only fear is that they are a little far. I don't know if we should move them. Maybe, yeah, that's a good maybe to ask. after the disc golf clinic, maybe have them come set up a tent up there, close to the concert. I'll, I'll find out. Okay. Um, Kim had a good question about volunteers. So there's a lot of volunteers that have signed up through Sign Up Genius. They will report to the info station. We need to somehow get that information out. To them. I will. I will. That's why I'm asking. Okay. I, I, I can message every person that has signed up. Okay. That says that you know get you know if you can get get to your station you know get there 15 minutes early. Mm -hmm. Go to the information booth station that will be directly beside the barn. Yeah. And check in, and you will get where you need to go. Has the volunteers already done waivers for no, the no. So do we need to have those on site for them yes. to go out? And just do your very Mary's best. Mary's going to take care of that when okay. they come and check That was in. my question. Sorry. Um, I did order extra t-shirts for volunteers. Okay. So let them know they can pick up a t-shirt from Mary. Okay. Um, I don't know the best way to sort of convey this, but they are going to be fed either Jersey Mike's or pizza because depending on what shift they have picked up does that make sense mm -hmm. so what i don't want like what i need what we need to convey especially if they're teenagers is like you you can come and in the for lunchtime and get some jersey mics and mary will tell them where that is or you can have pizza later you know i would I mean? just say whenever they check in for their shift mm -hmm. and what tell them then and there's 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 some kids that have a couple of shifts that mm -hmm. they're so when they're checking in they'll be checking in for like right you know, four hours yeah so it could kind of straddle that but will you guys have the master list printed out of volunteers yes from from the sign up genius for the purposes of food no just oh. checking people off oh yeah like, yeah okay yeah. And I mean, it, some of you might want to allude sense, to the fact have, that they will be fed so that I'll just have Mary tell them like we okay. we've only ordered enough food to feed volunteers. So <clears throat> if you have a volunteer T-shirt on, you are able to go and get some food. But please don't bring your friends and, and you know, grab yeah. a bunch of sandwiches because we've got enough just to feed our volunteers today. Okay. Okay. I will tell them only that only because, that. you know, I mean, if you're leaving the house and I'll you're going say, here I'll for four hours, like volunteers will be fed. Mm -hmm. Yes. More information at the information booth. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. right. I think what you're trying to avoid is them going, but I want a pizza, and it's like 2 o'clock. Or they're going to no. go four or five times and yeah. grab pizza and grab sandwiches and then bring all their high school, school friends. friends. Yes. Right. Like, you hungry? Let's go grab some food. Right. <laughs> is somebody going to be at down there? Is someone placing the food? Is that your question? Not yeah. all day. We just can't afford yeah. to put somebody down there to okay. police it. It's mm -hmm. got to be like common sense honor system. And if okay. we run out, we have food trucks. I mean, I'm just kind of like. That's fine. Yeah. It's a gesture. It is. It's a gesture. I'm doing the best I can. Mm -hmm. We'll have um, bags of chips and so if crackers. If we run out of food, food, we'll have some snacks. You okay. Know? Um, for council, in terms of who they report to, mm -hmm. it's either Austin or it's Jill. You need to make that very clear. Okay. Like, very clear. Because it, I mean, mm -hmm. I love everybody, but sometimes I don't pay attention. <laughs> I mean, do they need to check in with me, or do they need to go to the info, info table? Okay. Yeah. No, I'm saying if they have an issue, oh yeah, you know. on the walk, it's either Jill or it's Austin. Awesome. Like you have no business time. talking to anyone else Correct. on this walkie-talkie. That's, that's my very, very clear. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. I'll, I'll no discretion, discretion, no thought process. Just um, and y'all, y'all yes. have to, y'all have to help me police and monitor that too. Like yeah. if if Andy calls you and says, "Hey, can you do this? Mm -hmm. Hey, we got to run it by Jill. Like we need to report that to Jill." So. Y'all are going to have to do a good job kind of helping the ambassadors yes. with that, too. that's going to happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I don't even think I'm funny anymore. It's so sad. <laughs> okay. I think that's I think all that I have. Amazing. You have the, um, do you have questions? Yeah. So you mentioned waivers for the volunteers. Mm -hmm. um, do the health and wellness participants need to sign a waiver? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. 
And we have those too, like handy now if y'all have anyone, like your spouse or your kids, mm -hmm. that if y'all want to go ahead and get those done. Do I need to do one? Yeah, do we have to do yeah. this for our kids? You want to? Yeah. Okay. Technically, everyone did send it. So I would say if you have a stack of them, go ahead and give them to us because I will get mine and Jason's done. Mm -hmm. so they're, they're already oh, okay. Out. Yeah, perfect. Um, and then you'll just have to create a matrix. We can go over that. Um, let me write that note down. Matrix. Okay, so I'll send out, I'll send out the reminder. Check in at the information booth. Food will be available. You'll get a T-shirt. Sign your waiver. Get, sign your waiver when you get there. Get there 15 minutes before your shift starts. Yeah, so you can collect all that. I mean, I, I think I can. Although the whole waiver thing, like. They're, I mean, technically, the children under 18 can't really they sign They can't sign it either. I, I, that's I mean, unless their parents are bringing them to the we're info We're going to do our very best to get one, and that's what we're going to do. Okay. So we're going to have them sign it anyway, even though they're under 18. We're just going to be like, sign it. Just sign it. Mm -hmm. Sign it anyway, yeah. too. Just two. You want for Mike? No, he's not doing anything. Okay. How um, <laughs> many? I'll take three. It's our consultant, communications consultant. We should probably her. fill, go ahead and before Dang. fill this in, Marvin Day. Is our so communication people aren't doing it when we're sitting the stack. I'll tell you that in a minute. I'm RG. Who needs waivers? Two. So Hunter just asked for our communications consultants making a prettier map than what we see here, and yes, that they are. Um, however, I'm I am. Maps. I am map is so beautiful. I am utterly I'm, I'm embarrassed I'm by their production. Too. So I am going to put it in the uh, buses. That's what it's I was. Bad. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think we could have done a better job at okay, it. Okay, it's not bad. It's more like, um, it's more public facing and it just, there, there's clip art like dropped onto it. Like, here's a bounce house, inflatables, and there's clip art people at food trucks. And there's I think clip it's bad, art, but I mean, does anybody not, else see a way? It's just me. Let me say it. Because, like, yeah, these are more for the internal things. Yes. Like, it's what you would expect on. to I've see. I've got volunteer. Them. Am I signing it with my name? Yes. And Jason's name? Yeah, there's one, no, one for each. Well, I know, but I'm not signing Jason's name. I'm signing me for Jason. There's no place on here for a minor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just, just I don't know that we didn't. Chaplain did that, so I guess. Chaplain. There was a different purpose behind this waiver specifically. Yes. Yeah. So I'll I'll be more than glad to publish it if you guys want to. I don't personally mm -hmm. like it. Mm -mm. Um. So that, that answers the question. Does anybody have any? Jen, you, you could on. probably make something cute and pretty. I oh, could yeah. if you need me to. Yeah, no, that's terrible. That's it. <laughs> I mean, it's, I've, we've already paid a couple hundred dollars for it, though. So. Seriously? So it's one of the, the, the fights that I'm not willing to fight right now at this point in time, unfortunately. Do you want to work on that? You want to see me do better? It's all your spare time, Buster. <laughs> All right. Um, Just know we run the risk of like really insulting them too. Are they going to be on site that day? No, 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 what we're doing is for me too. Yes. What sucks is like with my like. I, I can't rotate one? like the words. Like if you notice it, like. I can't get it's them. It's fine. Going. I just print them out. And if and I can do that, I can. Oh, I can do that. I mean, it looks a little better. First, what are you doing in it? I'm just doing it in Adobe. Well, I've which got Photoshop, one? and I can turn. I can turn text okay, in any direction I want. Which one? Which one? It's Adobe Pro. Oh. No. <laughs> no. The only problem is if you're going to change it, I'm going to need it done like pronto. That's the only. That's the only big thing. Because I mean, I mean, I could take this and make a public one and take out like they don't need to know where. The light. Staff Why am I not getting paid? Goes. For they don't need that. to know where the light, trailer the light trailers go. Okay, we can talk about that um, offline. Yeah, you guys can work on that. We can work on that more done. But okay. this is, I think, the least of our concerns, unfortunately. It's a baby. I saw her. Yeah, it's a Oh, Bergen. A little baby. Um, okay, inside of your packets that you will receive, you'll have all these maps. It's a site map for the elementary school, the site map for um, the park. There's also the 5K route, in case you need to know that, and where people are positioned in the 5k route some of you may have family members that are positioned in the 5k but i think it's primarily just you and other council members no oh, that's the right okay. and i will be um i will be basically transporting everybody onto the 5k route and um taking them back 
Oh, that's where you're going to do the shuttle pickup at the high school. That's what I was thinking. I will say the 5K have is kind of fun. So if anybody just wants to come and you don't have mm -hmm. an assignment because you just want to, like, be there, it's, it's fun. It's a cool vibe. And the little owl will be walking around taking pictures of people. So it's kind of neat if anyone doesn't have an assignment and wants to come. Um, okay. Cheer on. Not, you know, we can just, we can this is the, so Matthew, this is the um, radius for the, the firework fallout. Stop. That perimeter has to be secured. Uh, one of your guys, I don't remember yep. which one, is responsible for kind of barricading that area off. So just make sure um, you guys are familiar with this. Make sure you know where the area is. Uh, I did get Waxhaw to volunteer some barricades, so they'll be dropping those off the, the morning of. Mm -hmm. um, so y'all just will communicate when those come in, and you can mobilize them. Actually, I'm sorry. I think it's the Friday um, they're dropping those off. So just make sure that gets secured. And then just so y'all know, if you know anything happens, you have this in your packet so you can make sure mm -hmm. people don't get close to this area. Um, does that area cross the trails? Do you know we're doing nature walks? No. It doesn't cross the trails? It does. They cannot go on nature trails. Okay, so those, those will be blocked. Mm -hmm. Okay, just want to make sure. So you'll just need to make sure we're blocking those off. I do have a question for shuttle. I can, I can add to the sign order something that says trail closed okay. due to fireworks and put it right at the entrance of the trail where the shuttle bus parking lot That's area That's probably is. a good idea. Yeah. We probably also, just so you all are aware, just make sure we have people kind of continuously going through there and making sure no one's on those trails. Okay. So as far as this map is concerned, nature walks at the cottage garden should be reworded, eliminated? It's really Top nature right? talks. Nature talks. Nature and garden talks. Because yeah, I know Not Christina really was going to do but... stuff. So, okay. It's been, but, it's been walks on our website for a while. It's fine. Uh, and I think it's doing today, too. Just let it go. Uh, yeah. It's, the guy will be getting there around 12, just so y'all know. Um, so he'll, he'll kind of, once he gets there, no one's allowed back there. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Any questions on him? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool to, to watch. Um, if we get a secret pass, I'll try to let you guys go back there um, and watch because it, it actually is really cool to see like the back end of fireworks. It's, it's a lot bigger of a, really cool. I'd like of a um, setup than you would think. When fireworks are over, we're going to have everybody trying to leave all at once. a mass exodus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we have, have we thought about how we're going to try to Obviously, I don't think we're going to have people coming in at that time, so we'll have the two shuttles ready to... We'll have three. We have three shuttles. We'll have Valentine. As far as four, I know, we have four. Yeah, we do. Wait, did we get two through Valentine? Yeah. Okay, so we have four Oh, we shuttles. did get more shuttles. You have... My understanding is you got there. two additional shuttles. From uh -huh. I only got one, I thought. I love it. I hope it's two because it's what I'm paying for it. I'm pretty sure it's two. I thought it was two as well. Okay, so we'll have all four shuttles there, backed up, basically ready to load up. I don't want people beep, 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 trying to, with all mm -hmm. this. So we're going to have all four lined up, ready to go, mm -hmm. and we're just going to do it as quickly as possible, make sure that they are fully loaded. Yes. And we then, have the off-duty officers if they need to stop traffic and help get the buses in and out. Perfect. On Newtown Road, and okay. we still have all of the volunteurs for crowd control okay. because some and will the, be there. Yeah. Like OMB, for instance, and some of those food trucks are going to need to pack up and leave. leave. And I, don't, I can't have people standing in the road and yep. being unsafe. So we'll just have all hands on deck doing that type of stuff. I know we've. I know we're going to have light towers up, but we're we going to have some flashlights so that we can kind of move people along and hold like um, I mean I don't know a light tower so we can turn on the light towers at that point I mean the light tower guys will have vests on I don't know if we're gonna have like lights like runway kind of lights yeah. directed I'm just wondering it's gonna be more like stay out of the road please keep the road clear right, food truck needs to exit you I know mean, what I mean like, I know but we, if we have some flashlights we may just want to have them there we will have flashlights for sure just okay. not like those no yeah, no I'm saying just yeah. flashlights just like yeah. a lightsaber let's, okay. let's see how much those lightsaber things we could buy them for the from that Latoya vendor Jason has two lightsabers. I don't want to spend any more money. I love it. Love it. I mean, I'm fine with the flashlights. Okay, okay. flashlights are. We fine. got little cheap flashlights. <clears throat> we and we just only as have like, 10, I think. Well, that's fine. As long as it's, we have batteries. I mean, we've three. got we've got the light. We've got li four light towers. Three um, three buses? vehicles. It's not four. So four shuttles. What I was thinking. No, it's three shuttles. Okay. No, no, I'm saying for these oh, shuttles. Oh, for these shuttles. Should I just have them basically 
like, should we put something at the shuttle things that says, like, you know, it's, basically it's a five-minute drive from shuttle location to park, drop off, and five minutes back. So, like, basically should we put any type of notification at the schools that says, like, should be running every 15 minutes? It's not a bad idea. Um, Between all those, is that 54 people? 20 in each the main shuttles and one and 14 in the Valentine? Well, the one thing we need to figure out is where is the third one going to go? Oh. It goes to both. So what I was the thinking, third one's gonna go to both. which is weird because it's the smallest one, which seats which seats the least amount of people. So it probably what I was thinking both. potentially, and this is something that I was like for Sunway, like I sent them those because obviously we're having for the main day from getting back and forth to the school, from both schools to the park, having one go to one, one go to the other. Yep. What I was then thinking is then potentially okay. we identify where the most people parked at. Having Sunway, yeah, yeah having then during the concert portion probably have some like one Sunway charter bus at the school up permanently, one at the park, and they rotate, mm -hmm. and then the Valentine would go back from the high from the middle, from the elementary school to. I think you need two at the high school because yeah. that's where you're going to have the most parking opportunity, and then one at the elementary school. Mm -hmm. Is that how you have it? Well, for the day, I mean, it's, you have one going to each one, but at the night portion, since we now have Valentine, I'm thinking maybe we send Valentine directly to the elementary school, and we switch Sunway going just the two pe the the two larger buses back and forth to the high school. I think you just do that. I think you just do that all day. That makes sense. We don't have Valentine all day. Oh, we only have them for the night portion. Oh. Uh, okay. So then, yes, one at each. Don't go to both. Elementary school, and if it high gets, school, and if that's it. And it gets it. to the point during the day where it's two, it's like if we, the problem is I don't want to not have anybody going to pick up at the elementary school, but if we start to notice that more people are at the, that's why I was like, I was asking, are we going to have any volunteers at the shuttle stop so we can monitor what's going on over yeah. there? I mean, that's at, kind of a at, boring at, assignment at, for somebody to at, just sit in the parking lot. Somebody may just need to hop on a shuttle and go see what's, and going, go on. See what's going on. I, I feel like this, we need to tell the bus during the day that is scheduled for the elementary school. Your job is to go back and forth. If you pull up at the elementary school and there is no one there, go to the high school and see if there's people there. Pick them up and bring them to the park. And just keep looping if elementary can, can is the, not being can utilized. The, can the two bus drivers not talk to each other? I, I want to say they'll probably be able to. I'd be like, hey, I mean, you know, just, just like they do at the airport. Hey, yeah, I'm at lot A, pick up. You know, and he's, you know, the high school there, he's like, I got 50 people here. Right. I'm Come on my on. way. Mm -hmm. They should potentially have CV or like radios within. Well, let's, let's, I think you getting there early at nine and talking to the shuttle people is that probably a great yeah. idea mm -hmm. and figuring all that out. Um, yeah. So can you get me an updated, so I can put it in here, an updated route list if you're changing it. I'm not necessarily changing the route. Just I mean, the changing the, the route. people. I mean, changing where they're going. Yeah, like I said, this was sent okay. to Sunway because this is what... Giving them some logistics. And okay. Now, said, there is the point of contact for the shuttle buses. So, if there's a shuttle question, does, does it have to go to me, or can that question go straight to Hunter to I put would, out the middleman? I would prefer it go to you because okay. you might have five people asking the same question in different ways. And okay. Or it might come to me and I need, might need to clear it with you. Okay. Um, so can we get, just, just for call clarity's it. standpoint, can we get, like, just a quick write-up of what's going on, like, hey, shuttle at AM, shuttle A is going from B to C, and then starting at 3 o'clock, this is what's happening, so I can add it here, just a quick rundown of it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, that my only thought is, I mean, it's one of these things where, especially my, my hope was with Sunway, obviously... We have them doing their day routes, but during the night, they're kind of flexible to, we have both locations on the quote. I mean, so it's not the end of the world, but then trying to work with them to have, just maybe going back and forth with the high school. Yeah. Why don't you just call both of them and say, hey, how do you suggest we do this? I mean, they have experience. I think it needs to be flexible and nimble yeah. and common sense and discretion. But since you're not, since you're, you're coming off at what time? What time right now I'm 11 to nine. I'm gonna probably be there the whole event. It's just- Okay, you're not. But I'm gonna get there probably at nine on Saturday. Okay. You're gonna have signs that says shuttles will roughly rotate every fifteen minutes. Like I, I will now. I okay. just wrote that down. Okay. I only yeah. had signs that say 
Shuttle event stop. parking here and shuttle stop. Okay. I didn't have anything about That's the time. Probably a good idea so people aren't like, well, you know, we've been here for five minutes. I can't believe the shuttle's yeah. not here. Like, if, if mm -hmm. we've hit 15... Well, that's the other thing. If we've hit like a certain time, should there be a phone number on oh, there to yeah. call? That's what I was wondering if there was an, a way that we could do a QR code. I might ask some way if there's a way to like their drivers can get a notification. I think if we put approximately stop. 15 minutes. I know, but what if they've been there for 30 minutes and no buses come? Well, that's a bigger that problem then. I mean, that shouldn't be happening. Period. I know it shouldn't, but let's just say it does. I don't know whose phone number you put on there, unless you put mine. They probably get back in their car and leave and be like, well, that sucked. Bus never came. I'm leaving. Okay. And I, you know what I'm saying? We probably mm -hmm. won't know about it. That's why in okay. my, we just don't my have opinion, I know we That's don't, like, but if we could have somebody at each location. I say like, I, I think know. Kim's idea to have, put somebody on the bus yeah. periodically. Once an hour, if somebody wants to jump on it and take a ride yeah. and see, and go see what's how the parking going on. is looking and then report back. That's fine. But I also think. That, you know, Jill's point is also excellent, is that if the, the bus driver is showing up at elementary and there's just nobody, nobody there, there so then he should call his buddy. Then he should be in communication with his buddy to each other. Yeah. and swing by. Or if they don't have that capability, if he doesn't have anybody to pick up, he should just swing they have over cell there. Phones. Exchange your cell phone numbers and talk yeah. to each other. Well, and that's, the, that's fine with Sunway because, I mean, they're, they're from the same company. Right. Mm -hmm. My only, it's just with working with... I, I think your idea is probably right. Most people are going to end up parking at the high schools. Make Valentine have sole responsibility for the, the elementary, elementary school, school once it shows up. Sunway, you, you guys just focus on the high school. But once it starts. Austin had a good idea. Just have one of the parking attendants, whoever that might be. Hop on. Hop, hop on, on, on and come back. Yeah. Yeah. You, you two are in charge of yeah. that whole location, so y'all just know, like, periodically just do it. I've got Evan that so. day. I can pop him on there yeah. when he's not doing the dunk dunk. I'm going to hop on it so I can chug my OMB without anyone watching me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take a little joy ride to check the car <laughs> And then I'll come back and because no one will be the wiser. Well, and what we can I'm going to bring you, like, portion. a little... Special. You're gonna end up so tanked with all those. <laughs> so we're all looking out for Jill. <laughs> in my coffee. Yeah. yeah. At the night portion, the especially the for Valentine, oh, little coffee in your Kahlua. Is just have him once he drops somebody off at the park from the elementary school, have him just go back and sit at the elementary school until potentially one of us calls him saying, "Hey, there's somebody here that needs a ride from the park to the elementary school." You see what I'm saying? Because then you. I don't want to get into us monitoring it that closely. I would just rather them loop. Mm -hmm. okay. Because that would require us to physically be there watching and then calling and then we, watching and then we calling. We definitely need their phone numbers. Well, no, I'm saying like if you have somebody at the shuttle stop, like the parking attendant. Oh, I see. So if somebody comes to the shuttle stop and they've been waiting there, and they need, even if we maybe even get signs at the shuttle stop location says like Marvin Elementary School and Marvin High School, where then if somebody goes to this sign and one of the parking attendants notices it, they can call. Valentine, because I think like, because mm -hmm. it, it's also thinking about what time people are showing up and leaving. Like you're not really gonna have potentially people leaving once they get there from five until after Maybe. the concert, after the fireworks. So yeah. it's like it would be better for him to sit at the elementary school until somebody gets there instead of waiting at the park or running a continuous loop. So so get so get each bus driver's phone numbers. Mm -hmm and give it to whoever is in charge of the parking, the parking attendant, the parking czar, whatever we want to call them, and give it to them. And if somebody's standing at the at the park for the elementary school, then just send them a quick text. But hang on, are we creating a process that it requires someone to physically monitor it constantly? No. Not necessarily. I think it's just... If I you have somebody up here monitoring parking and they see somebody that's waiting at the shuttle stop and hasn't been picked up for like five, ten minutes. But I can't tell you for 100% certainty that we're always going to have someone there. That's fine. I mean, it kind of is what it is. Like, I mean, it, we've got parking directional shuttle assignment. We've got... It looks, right. like, it looks like we need person from 10.30 to 2. It looks like we've got Richard starting at 1.30 to 4.30. And, and this is all assuming all these people show up as they <laughs> plan, too. So. Yeah. The other thing... I would rather have... Okay, shuttle stop attendee. We've got Joe and Julia Barbara doing that. Or, what are... Are they just at... They're helping people get on and off the shuttle if need be. Okay, so, I mean, that's from 10 to 2. So that's if nobody's there. Like, 
I think we've got, and I think we've got plenty of people who can, you know, if people are standing there for ten minutes, buzz the buzz and be like, hey, we've got people here at the park who need to get picked up. Okay, can you figure out a system that works, that jives well with the thought process of the shuttle people, and just summarize it like in a easy to understand clip that we can put in here? Because I'm confused. Does that work for everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it'll I be think, fine. I think we need to yeah. not overthink every possible scenario. I think we'll just, I trust Hunter to be able to manage it. You'll have cell phones for everybody. I'll help as needed. We'll grab volunteers or guys and say, I mean, jump on a shuttle. I need you to go quickly. I mean, I don't left. have anything to do from four until everybody's done. So, I mean, I can help do this. Like, you want to yeah, be the party bus it. girl? <laughs> I don't, we didn't, there's no polls. <laughs> Oh, okay, you guys were on the last bus I was on. That was fun. Um, does anybody have any other questions or comments about the forms, the duties, any of that stuff? Not necessarily, necessarily that, but the gate at the park will get in touch with Gary, uh, Derek to see how to extend the hours on it because it closes automatically at 8 o'clock. You can't, you can't open it? Like, there's, is there a physical override? There's a code. Yeah, there has to be a, a manual override. Yeah, we got a code, but... We've done. Sylvia should know that question. Well, him, Dave, and I—we've done everything in that book, and it says and nothing changes. We can't even mm -hmm. change the code on it. I mean, there's a way that's going to do it because we have to do it for national right now. Oh. And then uh, we've done the handwritten directions that was down there. That don't do nothing. Hunter, do you want to go over there with me and see if we can figure it out? Mm -hmm. I'll do it. Okay. Um, I know I've got the code written down. Is that the same? Did, I know I told you to change it. Have y'all? Yeah, we can't, have... can't change it. We have even called the customer service number, left them three voicemails, and ain't got no call back. Are you yet. serious right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna forget if I don't write it down. Mm -hmm. um, all right, we'll go over there, and if we need to call Derek, we will. Anything else? Um, Friday, I did order signs that say park closed, but. The gate will not be closed because vendors and us are going to be That's in why I wanted the signs. Yeah, yeah. So people are going to pull in anyway because they're going to be like, well, the, the gate's open. So mm -hmm. um, I, I'm i going to be there a lot on Friday as will Matt Skies and his team. So I would just say we just need to make sure that our guys or any of us on staff that we are being polite, but we are letting people know, I'm sorry, you might have missed the sign, but the park is closed. We're setting up for our festival. We're going to need you to, to leave. Um, we're going to have to police it because people will do it. But let's um, just be polite about it. Well, okay. You don't want me down there then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking more like the like. Like the way the way Sylvia, let's be Silvios and not Chucks when it comes to how we tell these people that they need to get out. So Julie, do you have this? Yes. Mm -hmm. If you look at the very last page, that kind of gives you hour by hour yep. what's going on. So you can kind of gauge your own schedule as to what you think you should be at okay. and after hearing everything that you've heard. So Yeah, do you have any questions? Well, I mean, I'll just shoot as long as possible. Um, Thank God for digital. Are you yeah. taking any drone footage? Because that would be handy. Yeah, that was one. something that I know you guys want. I can't fly directly over crowds, but you know I can be kind of at an angle okay. and away from the crowds, mm -hmm. like I did for the Halloween thing. So I can certainly mm -hmm. do that. I'd love to do that, like at the concert, okay. if like as the sun's going down, like so we can still see. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. She wants that sunset shot. I would love drone Gold footage now. as much as you can, not being able to fly over crowds, which is shocking. But I would love it because I want to be able to put like a promotional recap video. Oh, on yeah. social that and be, be like nice. Marvin Day 2023 was our best yet thanks yeah. for our vendors and sponsors, sponsors and everyone who came and just have a fun promotional video yeah. and, and even if we could get I don't know how early you're planning on starting but even if we could get some of the rays like that would be good yeah. is there any other special requests like I mean I'll, I'll like I said I'll kind of be a little bit everywhere but concert drone I'm Rays. assuming you don't make those fun little video slideshows set to music. Yeah, I can. Okay. Nice. I didn't um, put that in the last minute, but in yeah. Okay, okay. Cole, well, let me just, if you want to get me an estimate, that'd be great. I'm going to check and see. We may already be paying for that in our contract with our social media consultant. But if not, then we can compare quotes and estimates and see who's going to do it. But, right? Sorry, I missed half of that. I was talking well, about that's that. what happens when you start having a sad conversation. <laughs> 
I'll fill you in. It's That's fine. fine. I had a quick question about Marvin Ephraim. So one of our silver sponsors would like a table and chairs. Yeah, that's the Queen City. Is is that okay? That yeah, we she's on my list. There's them? a couple people I have said okay. yes to. Most people have said no, but there's a few. Okay. So how is that being communicated to them that's setting up? Are you just going to do that on the Friday? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And then do you know how many are registered for the 5K fun run? Because yeah, somebody yes, else yes. There's 100 people. 100? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think we'll get more throughout the week? Yes. Okay. What's your best guess estimate? Because someone's asking me for water bottles. Oh. Um, 200. 200. We'll try <laughs> to bring the water bottles. 200 would be great. All right. Does anybody else have any questions, comments? What, what, what's our stance on um, partaking in some of our libations that would might be there? She just yes. said if you're off the clock and not working, you don't have an assignment, you can partake. Okay. I can't. I didn't hear that because okay. I work until the thing is over. Right? That's why you're be riding the bus. <laughs> You'll be I'll, off duty then. <laughs> I'll sign a waiver. I only have one. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, do, I have, do I have a coupon for that? <laughs> There's a stage schedule that's also in your little packets like this. You don't really need to be super concerned with it. Jamie Lyons handling all that. He's got it. He's got, got it. That yeah. And then the last couple of sheets on here, which again will be in your packets, are the schedule of food trucks and then just a general schedule of the day in mm -hmm. case someone asks you, hey, where's the, what time mm -hmm. is such and such food truck getting here? The food trucks, the schedule of food trucks, who they are, is already on the website. So if anyone does ask, you can also tell them it can be found on our website at marvinmc.gov. But yeah, the food truck schedule is on there. I just put the text on there. I didn't post the document. I just put all the text so, in order. Pending no further questions or comments, again, we will prepare a packet for you all that includes your shirts, an updated version of this, mm -hmm. um, your parking passes. Again, use them at your as your at your discretion to try to carpool as much as possible. Um, shirts, packets, I think that's it. And those are, we can get those should on. be picked up? They should be picked up. Hopefully we'll have them done Thursday, but it could be Friday. Okay. And you will, Mary will communicate with you all on that, getting okay. that picked up. Um, more than likely I'll prepare like little manila envelopes for every single little person and have specific detail in there about this, mm -hmm. their shirts that were sized to them, their parking pass, anything relevant to what they're doing. And we can turn in our waivers. Yeah, that would be awesome if you turn in your waivers at that same yeah. time, too. Mm -hmm. That'd be added to those for parking pass, just because yes. I'll the mm -hmm. Are you adding her or do you want me to add her? The, um, um, I'll give you one now so okay. you, I won't forget. Right. Even better. Do you have enough? I mean, we more. They're very cute, too. Does anybody else have any questions, comments, concerns? You good, Jill? So many. I am. I think our branding package for that. I don't, yeah, sure. I'm good. <laughs> Let me grab this. this. I don't know who this is, and they keep calling me. Okay, so I'm going to call you after you have something like that. You know, okay. Because I want to start emailing everybody. So that um, do you have a favorite libation that I can get you a bottle to thank you? No. Saving my I'm good. Life. No. <laughs> I'm happy to help. You don't have to do that. <laughs> well, you know what? What? We'll go to the beach. I don't go to the beach until they didn't answer. They called me three times. I'm going to a country music festival. I hate when people do that. I bet. I bet it's been one of my whole life. It's from these. It's not there. It's like just people watching. It's a brutal. Come on. That's gonna be great. People watching alone. No, it's from where I live. I usually get like spam. All right, do I need to make a motion to adjourn? Yes. Are we done? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Are we done? I think Does anybody so. have anything else? Speak now or forever hold your Marvin Day. Until. We're good? Okay, yeah. I'll make a motion to adjourn the subcommittee, Marvin Day subcommittee meeting. At 1217. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Done. All right, good job, Thanks, everybody. Everyone.